On a quiet street in a quiet little town was the modest home of my neighbor, Percy Pettiboy. This was to be the biggest day in his life. He was going to buy his first dog. He even had the name picked out, Cuddles. This lucky dog was going to have every luxury. At last, Percy Pettipoint's big moment. Hmm, not easy to find a small, cuddly dog, is it, Mr. Pettipoint? Oh, I think this is a case of love at first sight. Oh, no, not a great day. That's a mighty big appetite for such a little dog. Ugh, messy, too. Cuddles is going to be trained properly. It caught on quick, didn't he, Mr. Pettiboy? You've got a smart dog. Temper, temper. Mr. Pettypoint, you're spoiling him. Time went on, and Cuddles grew, and grew, and grew, and grew. And as Cuddles grew, so did Mr. Pettypoint's problem. But they were always quickly wiped away. All except the problem of Cuddles' one-track mind. It began to get pretty monotonous, looking for his toaster each morning. Wondering where Cuddles had buried the stove. Meow! And the refrigerator. Of course, his bath was always interrupted. And looking at television wasn't easy. It began to get serious when Cuddles interfered with the government mail. He'd had enough. Either Cuddles must mend his ways or he would have to go. I know it's hard to be harsh with such an affectionate dog, but Cuddles had to know who is the master. Here now, now control yourself. Watch the temper, watch it. This is the last straw. Poor Cuddles. We're going to miss him. A mad dog. He'll be right home. Mr. Pettypoint went home and started to dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig 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 dig. It is one thing for sure. There'll be no more dogs in his life. Oh no, you wouldn't do that to Cuddle. Well, now you've done it. He's gone for good this time. Are you proud of yourself? After all, you taught him everything he knew. He was loyal. 
faithful. And he loved you. He's back! Josh, it's good to see him again, isn't it? But wait a minute. Something's wrong here. He couldn't be back. Or could he? Oh, no, it's impossible. You've got real trouble now, Mr. Pettibone. But everything turned out for the best. People came from miles around to see the moon that buried in my neighbor's backyard. Cuddles was forgiven, Mr. Pettipoint became famous, and made a barrel of money. Of course, he couldn't find it.